Good day everyone, it's Papa Nerd back again to unbox some more Kickstarter loot. Now, a few months ago we received the core set of the Walking Dead miniatures game from Mantic Games. Uh, just today I arrived home to find this thing on my doorstep. This is Wave 2, which should contain the uh, Woodbury Prison and Green Family Farm uh, expansions for the game. I haven't actually opened the box at all yet, so I have no idea exactly what's in it. So, uh, let's get on with it. Now this will probably be a fairly quick unboxing because I'm desperately trying not to uh, cough up a lung. Padding. Now I didn't go for any extras. This is just the base of what we got from the Kickstarter. Um, I didn't order the things like the mats or anything like that, which I'm actually starting to regret now because a friend of mine did order those and they looked really nice. So we've got the three. Oh, and... That's the uh, bonus Morgan figure that they uh, decided to throw in for us. He's just rattling around loose in the box. But, an extra figure, can't argue with that. So, we have the three expansions. Let's see what we've got. Starting off with... The, the Herschel card at the top. I'm assuming this is the Green Family Farm. Expansion. We've got some new walkers, as well as the uh, green family members. Oh, well, I'll take a bit of tidying up. So the character cards, as well as Rules for the Miles Behind Us expansion, as well as some card. Um, I was under the impression there should have been a player map with this. Just give me a second. Sorry, we just went and grabbed a, a knife so I can open up the packaging here. So what do we have? We've got Miles Behind Us expansion. Ah, yes. There is the the play map for the Green Family Farm. Some scenery tokens, including the barn, which if you're a Walking Dead fan, you'll know the significance of that particular location. Next we have Martinez. This looks like it's probably the Woodbury expansion. Now we already got the governor in an earlier expansion, although we do get the uh, post running with Michonne governor. It's with the eye patch and his missing arm. It's a different situation. If you follow the TV series, things happen a little differently in the comics than they do in the TV series, especially where the governor's concerned. And we've got more character cards. Hard to knock everything everywhere. Oh. We've also got some objective cards, event cards, and the character cards. So not a bad little section. And then underneath that, we have the rules and some more scenery. So this is the Made to Suffer expansion, which takes place in Woodbury and features the governor and everything that happens there. So there's a Woodbury play map, which for the first time actually gives us some interior locations. There's some small houses, some additional rooms, including the governor's room. You can see the, uh, the floating zombie heads there. Uh, looks as though there'll be some rules for smoke clouds. And we've got a tank. Sweet. And barricades and other obstacles. And then finally, this 
obviously, should be the prison. Sorry, just drop another miniature there. Indeed it is. And the sweet ones here, we've got uh, Michonne and her two pet zombies. As well as other characters uh, that uh, were present in the uh, the prison expect the prison storyline from the comics. Uh, the two twins there. Once again, you know who they are if you've uh, read the comics, but wouldn't be familiar for people who only watch the TV series. Uh, we've got more cards, and once again, trying not to spill everything everywhere. More events. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. More events and more supplies, possibly more equipment, objectives, etc. And finally, this is the Safely Behind Bars expansion, which is the prison expansion for the Walking Dead miniatures game. I'm put that knife there it is. Once again, this should be Rule book and some scenery. Yep. So the rule book, another mat, this time for prison scenery. Once again, you get some more interior locations, this time a few cells and the uh, dining area of the prison. And some more scenery. Not much, only one card of scenery in this one. Um, there's an extra room, looks like the, uh, the equipment and weapons room for the prison. And some prison fencing. And that's pretty much it. So there you go. Lots more uh, interesting things that you can uh, do with the miniatures game. Uh, taking it in all sorts of different directions, a la the comics. So I'm looking forward to that. Once again, very nice miniatures from Mantic. And uh, we'll see how it all plays. So that's it for now. And that's uh, the expansions for the Walking Dead miniatures game from Mantic Games. Should be on retail soon.